Okay, now the hot pack is all set up and I've just plugged it in and when you turn it on you should see a blue light at the front there. Also plug the USB cable into the back of my laptop. Okay. And when you install this CD, install this CD before you plug it in. Okay. Otherwise it should it, otherwise it wouldn't work. What you should get on your screen now is this Total Media Extreme, which is the program you, you should use to record. So you double click on that and get these options here. So you want record video there, and the other one I'll I'll be using in this video is the media converter. So go and record video, click on that. Wait for it to load up the source. There, the Hopag HD PVRs been selected. There, you'll need to select on the video output YPRPB, and the audio input needs to be the RCA back. Everything else should be right. Right now, I've got a blank screen because my PS3 is set to HD cable. Well, now I'll show you how to change that. You can have both the HD cable and the component cable in at the same time. So you go across to settings, down to display settings, video output settings, and you can see on HDMI you change the component D terminal. It'll ask you to change. Click change. Then you swap to the channel which the HD PVR should be on. Like I said it earlier, it should be above where you plugged them in. Right, it has not shown up, so what you should do then, if it doesn't show up, you may get this occasionally. You just press refresh on here, and it should say the device is not available. If that comes up, press OK. Turn back to the original channel which the PLC was on with HD. Then all you need to do is you just turn off the hop. I got an off at the back. So it comes back on and it should work this time. You can do the same procedure. Little component, change. So now the hop bag should come up on here. And if it doesn't come up on here, you just press. Refresh at the top again. Let's wait for it to load up. And there, it's also come up. So now, you need to select everything besides the 1080p. Press next. And this should come up, you press yes. Press X, then you set your audio output settings to audio input connector SCAR AV multi. Press X, and now you should have sound on as well. My laptop's on mute, so I don't hear the sound, but it will record with sound either way. And that's on the screen, that's on the laptop, and if you see, if I swap to the end, it's, it's about two seconds behind your hot bag. So like I'll just talk to the end, talk to the end. Okay, now I'll show you how to record. Okay. So, what you do is at the bottom here, and if I can just zoom in on it, should be capture. Just scroll your mouse down to that. Okay, so you click that first off. Oh, yeah, first off. You want to make sure the save format is M2TS and you save it to wherever you want it. Okay, so I'll just do a short video now, so I'll click capture. Wait a minute, the screen should go blank momentarily there. And now it's started to record. So, I just go across for a bit. I'll even press this. Back of that, right? Then, when you finish, the capture button should have changed to stop, so you press that again. 
and then it stopped. Still on both screens. So now, press X at the top there, close that down, and now your video should be saved wherever you wanted it to. So for me, it'll be in YouTube videos, and it should be saved as that. Just a number of a file there. Now that is the HD file. That cannot, well, it can be uploaded up to YouTube, but if you want to edit it, which most of you might want to, you'll be needing to use, that's a total media extreme. You go on to utilities there at the end, and click on Arcsoft Media Converter. Wait for that to load up. So we get this small box here. You need to change manufacturer to Microsoft and Xbox 360. Reason is is that it'll save it into a HD WMV file, which is the file you'll be needing to use on Windows Movie Maker, which I use for my editing. So you find it again. It's there. Click on it. Click open. Should be there and the UTS file, the duration of it. Again, you just save it to wherever. Press start. And then you leave CPU priority on normal. You can put it higher, but for some reason, sometimes it crashes. Now, that is only a 20 second video, and that's going mm, okay speed. Now, I think the longest one I've had is a 10 minute video, and that was that took about four hours to convert so you're looking at a very long lengthy conversion process so if I just skip to the end of this and I'll show you how you also edit okay the conversion process for that 20 second video is now over that took three minutes to do okay so we'll just close that just close that close that Now here's the converted file here, still got the same number. Now to edit that you just open Windows Movie Maker. And just import videos there. And just find it, so... There it is, you can drag it in there and you can edit it, whatever. So if I just, and then you can just uh, save it again. Oh yeah, when you're saving it, you just save to this computer. As whatever, wherever you want it to. Press next. Now on here, it says choose settings for your mover. Click on more settings, click that. And click on HD 720p. Now I'll give you the widescreen HD version as you will see in most of my videos. If you watch GTA Funny Race 2, that was done in 1080p, which is sharper, but it's not the widescreen. GTA Funny Race 3, for example, was shot in 720p, so that was the widescreen and also has good quality as well. So you just save it as that, you press next, and it'll publish it to wherever. And then you upload that video onto YouTube. Okay, so that's about it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment or personal message me on YouTube and I'll try and respond as quick as I can. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.